What is going on guys and girls welcome back to EU4 as Italy and as I promised we are back at the end of the war today and uh, so yeah basically I already showed you what I want I want to take all of my Italian claims and um, there's that's exactly 100% war score there's nothing else I can really take so uh, since they will agree to it there's no reason to really drag this out I could have now one thing I could have done that I was just kind of too um, too lazy to do. I could have separate piece Brittany. We could have maybe taken some lands here from them and uh, You know gotten a little bit more money, but as I said, I was just a bit lazy for that So it's all fine. This is this is good enough for me, right? So we lost quite a lot of men uh, obviously well 70,000 ourselves, but we killed more enemies and that's that's basically all that's important the people say did lose anyone That's actually kind of cool, but they still had to give up tons of lands so Regardless, uh, we have finished this. We have also apparently fulfilled a mission of building manufacturers. Oh my goodness. 25 years. Or for 25 years, we'll get 10% production efficiency and we get another 2,000 ducats. That is just crazy right now because we're super rich. Also, our over... Oh my goodness. Really? Come on, 100.3. Now, I didn't check this. I should have checked it, but come on. Really? That's so close. Now, I'm not sure how fast we're going to be able to core this stuff, but these are actually really cheap cores. I mean, this should also, like, so we should be, like, this should go very fast. Actually, we don't have enough points for this. What? That's so crazy. Like, when I, when I cored uh, Tunis, that was 200. For just like a single province. I mean, those there's really not a whole lot of development here. I mean, I gotta be honest. Uh, although 22 development's not too bad. 16, you know, a little bit of that. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of these provinces have been converted. Or, yeah, they have been converted. So that's kind of annoying. Um, but oh well, I'll be able to deal with it. Um, yeah, so that was that. I'm gonna have to bring my troops back home. We once again lost... A horseman <laughs> as per usual uh, but that's okay uh, I'm gonna be able to rebuild it relatively quickly yeah that's that's the one where we lost a horseman right now you're gonna be sent home to Roma and of course as I said we'll immediately build one more cab why not a month for it there you go and yeah we've got tons of money tons of money that I can spend to improve our holdings uh, the first one is gonna make uh, the first thousand gold will be spent to make Tunis a world port. Thank you. Very good. And, uh, yeah, that's, that is that. Anything else that we need to improve? Palermo can be improved. So let's make sure to do that as well. Um, in a state or trade company. I see. Okay. That's fine. By the way, oh, this has already been improved, but we can improve this a, a bit more. Can we not? Yes. So, uh, I've made Gabu into a world port as well. Now, unfortunately, that's really, really sad. Portugal managed to win and they've took Benin from Oyo. That really, really sucks. I would have wanted to take this myself, but oh well. Um, so I guess the only chance I have is to get uh, something like either the Cape Coast or the Gold Coast or both from Songhai. So that's going to be my next plan. I only really want to take provinces that have some sort of, you know, bonus modifier. Otherwise, I'm not interested. In these. So yeah, Benin would have been really good, but it's fine. We'll get the other stuff as well. Uh, we're bringing our troops home. Uh, perfect. Uh, Conocieri, I'm not interested. Sweden has won their war against Russia, and they are now a great power. Great power four. They've actually surpassed us, interestingly enough. Why though? Our development is higher. That's so weird. Why do we only have? Or maybe because we just pieced out. I guess. Yeah, I think. Because we just took the lands, it has not properly been added yet. But yeah, so France is uh, great power number eight. They've just kicked out Russia, um, who uh, who yeah obviously lost to the Ottomans as well. Wow, that's so pathetic. But uh, I think Russia is kind of at a point of no returns. I can't really help them. Like even if I wanted to, I just couldn't. They're too weak. I build up. Well, I upgraded our ships here. I'm going to be sending them back to hunting pirates in Genoa, and. Um, yeah, that is going to be that for now. We still have 4,000 gold. I like that. Uh, could make... I mean, yeah, no, I still need to get these cores in. How fast are they going to come in? 
One year, that's not too bad. We should not have too many terrible events during that time. So I think that's going to be all good. Uh, we could technically go for some of these upgrades here. I don't think that's necessary. Yeah, mostly. These things have mostly been built already as well. Uh, Manufactory in Tunis wouldn't be bad. Let's go with that one. That actually seems to be quite useful. Uh, workshop we already have. And then training fields. Uh, Solano could get one. And that is basically that. Yeah, good enough for now. Let's move on forward. We do not really have a whole lot of manpower. Uh, so we might need to... Uh, might need to have to stay at peace for a while. Unfortunately, I can't manually reduce this. I mean, I can, but that would decrease our absolutism. And obviously, that's something I don't want to do. Uh, in fact, yeah, as soon as we've got our cores in, I'm going to use... Um, I'm going to be uh, making these into uh, states, obviously. And then I will make sure that we reduce autonomy there as well. It's going to get our absolutism up the fastest this way. Okay, new tech. Um, okay, that's the military. That's new cavalry and new cannons. Uh, sure, let's upgrade that too. Leather cannon. Awesome. Okay, so plenty of money. I know I can replace, and I probably should replace my... Uh, my infantry with... With... Uh, mercenaries, but yeah, I just don't kind of I kind of just don't want to I, I suppose but yeah This is an interesting thing legitimacy questions the bloodthirst shown by Carlo II has ruined the reputation of Italy in the eyes of the world And now our own subjects are starting to question the legitimacy of such a ruthless ruler to lose legitimacy That's not too bad. Uh, that's not too bad. That's the first event the first overextension event I hope it will stay at those. I mean the one I would really hate uh, is the one where we get a bunch of uprisings. That would be quite terrible. Now, it's said we might get a coalition, but I think people are too afraid. So, um, all things considered, I don't think it's actually going to be happening. So, 12 developments. I'll take Kabilia. Uh, next. It's the next claim. Although, I kind of want to... Probably should have gone for Constantine. Ah, it's fine. Whatever. We'll... We'll uh, conquer these provinces eventually, um, so it doesn't actually matter which, in which, uh, uh, which which one I conquer first necessarily. All right, moving on. I think we can move speed five here, and yeah, I should talk to Songhai about uh, chartering some some provinces, the Gold Coast. Now, which one is better? Let me quickly see. The Cape Coast producing sugar. Five developments and natural harbor with religious zeal that is Catholic. Okay. Or uh, the Gold Coast with fish and, well, seven developments and not having religious zeal. Although, I, I don't know if that really matters. Mm hmm. Well, let's see what they want. I, I probably want to get both. How much is it going to cost? Oh my goodness. Six thousand. Are you insane? Why? Other provinces nearby. Opinion. Diplomatic reputation. Okay, so our diplomatic reputation has tanked. Base reluctance, province development. Okay, so I'm going to have to wait before I can actually buy stuff because we need to reduce our overextension first. Petition for redress. Uh, lose prestige. Nobility loses loyalty. Seven peasants rise up in Siena. Let's have the peasants rise up. That's fine. Crush them and come back to Roma. No problem there. Okay, and I can go for a new... I can make these into cores first of all. And I can go for a new idea group. Now, I'm thinking I'm going to go with exploration here. Because... Uh, it's maybe time for a diplomatic one, although influence would reduce the aggressive expansion impact. That wouldn't be bad either, having more vassals. Yearly prestige chance of an heir, that's not a bad thing. Diplomatic annexation costs, diplomatic reputation. I think, actually this might be better, although exploration would be good too. But this would help us in so many more ways. This is basically just extra provinces that I don't really need. Naval force summit isn't bad either. 
to be honest. But that's coming in really late. Hmm. I don't know, man. What's our rule? What's our current rule good at? Pretty good at diplomacy. That's also what I'm currently focusing on. Hmm. So either influence. I mean, influence would also. I mean, but it does give us prestige in this stuff. The aggressive expansion impact. The diplomatic reputation is good. Vassal force limit. I don't have any vassals. Unjustified demands. Does that mean I can take more lands? I think. This or exploration. I'll take the influence, actually. Let's take the influence ideas. And increase income from vassals, even though that <laughs> doesn't do anything just now. Alright, cool. Moving forward. Uh, let's actually have another diplomat dedicated to improving relations with outraged countries. Because why not? Okay, Sicilian separatists are about to rise up. Can bring our troops in position already to Palermo. Okay, we've got plenty of cores coming in. Very nice. Unfortunately, I don't think I have the admin points to immediately state all of this. But we'll see what we can do. Alright, so this is a good one. Wait, this is the only one? What about this one? Oh, we have not finished the cores yet, I, I suppose. Yeah, that's all good. Alright, so uh, coring the places now is significantly more expensive, it seems. And I could invest here. Let's actually build one of those things. So what does this do? Property appraiser, trade steering, land force limit, naval force limit. I like this one. What's this do? Yearly army tradition. Oh, wow. That's cool. Let's build this. Um, land or naval force limit, local goods produced, local production efficiency. I kind of like those things. Admiralty. Company's naval command structure is based at the Admiralty. From here, our naval officers can effectively administer a great number of merchants. Now, is this only one... Yeah, is this... This is one per, I think, like, trade company sort of thing. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna keep it at that. I'm not... I don't want to build all of them in the same province. If you know what I mean. I kind of want to, like, if I get more provinces like the Golden and um, and the Cape Coast, I want to uh, build some unique buildings in these places as well, and not all of them in Gabu. I don't know, I just feel like that that's kind of cool. Even though, I guess, Gabu is the headquarters of our thing, I want it to be decentralized a little bit. Tunis has claimed Malta. What? You're definitely not going to get that from us. Okay, to love and be loved. Now, this is an interesting event. I think we are. Carlo currently, he's well advised, by the way, 28 years old. Uh, he does not have a consort, but he does have an heir. Um, but that was with a cheating wife. So, you know, who knows what's going to happen here. But a royal marriage is rarely a matter of love. Rather, it is a diplomatic opportunity which is not to be wasted. It is also of great importance that the future consort has suitable status and it is advantageous if she or he is a foreigner so as not to disturb the balance of eternal politics. However, even the king can become love struck, then all such matters seem to melt away. From his point of view, at least, a local from the Albanga province has caught Carlo's eye. He appears to be happier than ever, entirely and endlessly unarmored. While our nobles and advisors are less than pleased, the union between Carlo and his beloved has strong support among the commoners of the realm. Let the king have his heart's desire. Okay, Italy gets consort of the people. Uh, Albenga is home of the consort. Roma gets nobles displeased for 10 years. Local manpower. Okay, we lose prestige and legitimacy. Marrying a lowborn. You know what? Why not? Our previous wife was noble and all and she cheated. So how about one that, that doesn't cheat? Angelica. Hello, Angelica. Welcome. Visconti. Alright, cool. Very nice. Um, now, legitimacy does, I think, play a role when it comes to um, diplomatic reputation. Yeah, it does, actually. So, we kind of want to keep that high up. And, I think... 
Ah, oh, no, I don't have enough points to strengthen it. Shit. That sucks. Alright, well, so we're gonna have to wait. Unless, actually, hold on. I might be able to get some things going here. Lose prestige. But demand military support, 100 points. Yep, absolutely gonna do that. Burgers. Grant Monopoly Charters. We've got plenty of prestige here to spare. Ask for contribution. Demand diplomatic points. I kind of really need administrative. Make a generous donation. Now hold on. I cannot do this because the influence is not high enough. I'm going to have to go with this one. Alright, and demand... Uh, let's make this. We have we're so rich. This still doesn't actually do anything. Okay, so there it's their influence that's too low. All right. Well, then I guess I'll take the fifty points, and we'll get some we'll get some cores in. Uh, let's start with Palermo. Okay, that's fine. And you know I just did that. Uh, stability could come back up. And right, I wanted to strengthen the government here. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, increasing our absolutism by two, increasing our legitimacy as well. Cool. Okay, so this uh, this is going well. Rebels have been defeated. And we'll siege it back real quick. And then we're going to have to go back to Orlamo here because uh, we'll have more rebels spawn. I hope they don't spawn in Malta though because that would be really terrible. Okay. Aragon slandered the good name of our merchants. Uh, I mean, that does suck. Oh, that's hurting. That's three ducats. He's uh, taken away from us there. Um, oh, well. That's the way it is. Nothing I can do about that. And we need 62 more admin points. All right. And, of course, we can make more provinces into states now. Calabria and Apulia. Okay. So yeah, a lot of things that need to be cored. And actually, I'm not sure, have we had rebels yet? We have no unrest. So let's reduce autonomy here. That will give us a little bit of absolutism as well. Uh, just like that. There we go. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have rebels rise up anyways, so might as well. Can't do this. Minimum value is 50. Okay, because I don't have a core yet. Alright, fine. Hi, I'm lacking admin points. There are the rebels that I've been waiting for. We'll crush them. We'll have the mountain fortress on our side. It's just going to make this quite trivial. Very good. Let's come back home. And I can still invest... Actually, you know what? I can invest in some of these smaller buildings, although I'm not sure how good this is. It's probably not all that useful. The one that gives us trade, maybe. Local trade power. I think that's okay. Yeah, that's that's fine. This is production. Supply limits. Local defensiveness. Yeah, I don't think that's necessary. Alright, so this is all looking pretty good. And then I just gotta be able to buy more stuff off of... Uh, uh, Songhai, who apparently, like, I think they kicked out the Castilians or something? Because Castilla does have a claim here, so they, I think they must have been just destroyed. It's kind of hilarious, actually, but, uh, I mean, not really surprised. Castile doesn't have any lands. I think Castile's just gone. They're just completely gone. They've been probably wiped out by the Songhai here. <laughs> That's funny. All right, well, that was it for... Today's episode, Italy is looking very nice. We're going to have to take the northern parts as well. Still have plenty of claims there. I'm um, going to be a little bit careful about, obviously, uh, aggressive expansion as well as we're low on admin points. So um, that is something to keep in mind. But uh, yeah, Italy will soon be completely united. I can't wait for that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Now, if you want to help return Constantinople to its rightful owners, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And you can even go a step further and join the newly formed Varangian Guard by becoming a supporter on Patreon.